Ooh, I just slammed a splinter right into my palm. That was an ouchie. All right, let's get to work on building the rest of this crate. And welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are on the run. It's crazy out here. I got a tent drying. So if you watched uh, the last video, you guys know that uh, process of sealing up that canvas tent, you gotta water it down and let it dry. So that's basically what I'm doing. So I got something fun I'm gonna do today. It's something I need to do, given all this camping stuff and uh, just organizing uh, spring cleanup, call it if you will, maybe an early spring cleanup. But I'm gonna build some wooden crates. Today is actually a day that I have to go into the doctor and get an MRI. Every once in a while I gotta go in and scan my brain. So we gotta go get that out of the way first. Basically just sit in a big metal or a big tube and it sounds like a big calculator. But something I gotta do, make sure Willis is under control and not coming back. It's actually a really nice day outside. I'd love to be fishing today, but it is a good day to work on wood. So let's go get this out of the way and then we can return to the fun stuff. We've arrived, I'm about to go in here and get our brain scanned. Some of you have probably seen these videos before. I go in here, uh, big tube, and you gotta stay perfectly still for about 20, 30 minutes. And while these magnets go around you, and it creates a uh, three-dimensional image of whatever they're scanning, your brain, your bones, whatever it is. So the idea is I get one of these every, I think it's four to six months, and if there's no growth, no treatment needed. Uh, and then as soon as Willis, if he returns, God willing he doesn't, uh, then I will go back to the surgeon and uh, we'll probably do some radiation treatment is, is the idea. So you don't want to get radiation when you're young. You don't want to get radiation, period. I mean, it's introducing radiation in your body is never good. So uh, it's good to get these checkups, make sure everything is on track good to go uh this is just life living with with brain tumors man uh especially ones in difficult spots like i like i have so willis i hope you're dead as a doornail we're done well we got her done wasn't so bad uh, that contrast stuff they put in your your veins, it's uh, it like brightens up the picture. Uh, although it's it's weird how that works. I had to sign some paperwork saying that like one in every four hundred thousand people has some adverse reaction or, or something like that. But it just it tastes weird. It feels weird in your system. It's like, how does it get out? I don't. I don't really know. But that's just something I gotta do. Hopefully we have good results. It's all on the CD. I gotta take this to the doctor, uh, Dr. Kim, down in, down in Houston at the Brain, uh, Memorial Hermann Brain Studies place. Forget the full name of that hospital. That's gonna be another video, probably on the Lake Life channel, me and, me and Steph going down there for the first time with Emmy. The last time we were there, uh, she was still in the womb. Now let's go work on some crates. All right, we have finally able to start working on these crates after visiting the doctor and running a bunch of errands around town, some OSG honeydews. You know how it goes, guys. But uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm taking leftover pallet wood. Some of you may have this already. I'm not going out and I'm, I'm buying materials. I'm literally going into my garage where I've had just so much wood piled up and I'm using it to make some of these crates. And I need these crates. I need them to put them in the back of the truck for uh, tackle boxes, tackle trays. Um, I want to put my propane tank in there, my camping accessories. You guys saw all the camping stuff that I've got. Uh, so make multiple ones of these. I can also use these in the garage just to store uh, when they're not in my truck. So it just makes them a little bit easier to stack and store and all that fun stuff. So I've also got a ton of heart pine in there that I want to do some, some lure drawers and some tool drawers uh, crates to go under a workbench project for a whole nother day. The point is I got a bunch of wood and I'm trying to utilize it. So some of you may uh, have some extra wood at home, some scrap wood pallets are really easy to find. Tons of people on YouTube make all sorts of furniture and different kinds of uh, stuff with pallet wood and it's super cheap. All of this so far that you see right here that I've assembled 
has been out of pallet wood. So basically what I did, I took a crowbar and I wrenched into the pallet wood and I, I busted it out, busted all the nails out and stuff, laid out the planks and then taken a couple of pieces of wood on the side and then used a nail gun and also uh, some wood screws in some areas to attach this. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do from here is just use, this is some leftover wood that I had from uh, Emmy's room, building her little wall. I've got a bunch of this stuff, this would be perfect. It doesn't match the pallets, but uh, it will be really strong, sturdy, and actually look pretty good. And I'm gonna put some holes in the side, do a little LFG signage on it, it's gonna look pretty nice. It's not just for looks, it's functional too. So the bottom basically looks like this. Same sort of setup. It's not quite stable on the sides. It's kind of just roughly in there. Um, once I get the other sides up, this thing's gonna be solid as a rock. So let's finish this one up. This one is gonna be for a uh, propane tank and other camping supplies. And some of the other ones that I'm gonna do, like this one right here, I'm gonna measure those for tackle trays exactly. So you can set this up however you wanna do. Tackle trays, get them where they fit exactly in there. Uh, it's just a lot better than those plastic crates. Ooh, I just slammed a splinter right into my palm. That was an ouchie. All right, let's get to work on building the rest of this crate. Take some wood glue, glue these pieces together. Wood glue, don't underestimate it. The concept on using this box design, and there's a bunch of them out there. This isn't a specific one, actually it's kind of a combo. You let a little bit of your uh, plank that you're attaching the rest of your boards to hang over a bit, that gives you a section to uh, attach those planks to. So uh, the long planks are attached to these short, stockier um, planks. These are one inch right here. So yeah, there's, there's enough room there to put your nails in, screws, whatever you're gonna use. Uh, now on the sides, I'm just gonna use a uh, nail gun and just go in here with some wood glue actually wood glue all around here as well and then just tap right in with the nails really i should clamp this with glue and let it dry before i do it but I'm trying to get this done before the sun goes down Gonna take the jigsaw, clean up the edges just a little bit. The reason for using the jigsaw is like that, so I can put the wood glue directly on there. It's gonna have a nice flush fit. Well, not flush. I mean, it's a it's a wooden crate out of scrap wood that I'm throwing together kind of quickly. But just to give that uh, wood glue a surface to connect with instead of being kind of jagged, just being nails in there. That wood glue is surprisingly strong. You may not think it's very strong, but when it connects with the grains and the wood, it's holding tight. Get this other side put on and we're gonna have ourselves a basic crate. Then it's gonna be time to actually put some handles on it. Finish it off with a little sanding and our own little signature touch. Ugh, this side was much tougher to get into the slats, but staying together without even having wood glue, so that's nice. Just give it a little dabble there. Now this is formed into an actual crate. 
Now, the only thing I can think of before I do some other work on the sides is to uh, add a little support on the innards here and run some boards on the inside uh, as like a border and then reattach those on the inside and then we'll really be set. Here's the inside of our crate. Look at that folks, even holds sawdust. A little bit of a gap right there. It's a boo-boo, LFG boo-boos. Could do a whole episode on those, but hey, that'll work. It's gonna hold some stuff. I've only got a few pieces of this bracing this size that was on that pallet wood. So I'm gonna have to get creative, but this stuff is perfect. It's like one inch by one inch, one by one. Just gonna stick it in this corner right here. Give it some glue. Nail it in. It's been really windy and the sun's about to go down, but I was hearing this noise. And all of a sudden this water is like gushing in. The creek is starting to fill up. This is crazy. I think they're working on a water main like higher up. Look at all this. It's happening. The rains. They bring life. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, I felt like I needed to update you on my current water situation in the backyard. Okay, we got two braces in. Honestly, I can get one more out of this piece right here. One more. And that's it. I'm in luck. I actually found one more scrap piece. It just has a lot of nasty nails in it. I gotta get out. But then this thing's gonna be braced in, ready for action. Okay, y'all, we basically now have a fully functional crate. This thing's heavy duty. I've gotta add some other touches to it though. I gotta draw those up. I wanna do some taperings on the sides. I wanna do some handles. Uh, and I gotta use my, my router for that, most likely. And then I wanna do some custom artwork on the side. I gotta draw all that stuff up. So I'm gonna let this wood glue dry and then I'll see you in just a minute through the magic of YouTube. Alrighty y'all, now that the wood glue is dry, we have a new day. It's actually freaking cold out here, but the birds are singing and it's calm. So for the rest of the project, all I'm gonna use is a, I say all I'm gonna use, I've never even used this tool. I'm not gonna act, act like I'm Bob Vila. All I'm gonna use is a daggum plunge cut uh, router here not that guy uh, this is a router that I got for Christmas that I've been wanting to use perfect time to get to know it use it a little bit and I, I want to do a uh, uh, well my mount for my deer I'm gonna actually route the wood and and use that so it's better to work on a nice wood crate that I don't really care too much about before I do that you could do the same thing I'm gonna do with a drill I could even use the jigsaw in there what for what I'm about to do here but I want to use the router to make a little indention up at the top so it gives a little bit of room for your, for your hands and then actually make handles with this. And this is the perfect tool to use. There's a bit in there. Um, as I push down, it goes in and it spins at a really high speed. So it's able to make plunging cuts into things and you can route designs, um, little grooves and things like that with it. Finish it off with a little sanding and then a little personal touch. And we're good to go, man. This is a big crate. I could even put firewood in this crate. I was thinking about it this morning. Since it's so cold, it'd be a good crate to put firewood in when we're camping. So without further ado, let's make some cuts. Oh, there's some shavings. A little test cut. I went ahead and I added a border because I quickly figured out <laughs> without a little border or some sort of road for this thing to follow, it's just going to go where it wants to go. That's definitely the most sawdust I've ever amassed. <sighs> Look at that. I'm learning. I'm learning how to use this tool. Obviously, uh, had some boo-boos there. Um, but that, that thing is smooth, super smooth. I kind of got the desired look I wanted, but also didn't. I'm gonna do a little cleanup work with the jigsaw and then take the sander, sand it down, see how that looks. Make a, 
make a nice round look to the top so I'm not catching on my sleeves and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we cleaned that up. Now I need to make some handles right here before we flip this thing over. Probably round that down on the sander and then put me a little, little handle right here in the center. There's our little crate handle. I need to make it a little wider, so I'll probably just back this up here or move it up a little bit and then saw through that just the same. We'll have ourselves a nice little plunge. There's probably a lot of you that are much better at doing what I'm doing right now than I am. Honestly, I've never done this. I've taken uh, one of my really sharp knives and I'm carving out the LFG logo right now onto this piece of paper. I think you can guess what's gonna happen after that. I've whittled myself out the LFG logo right here. So we're gonna tape this on here and give our little stamp of greatness on this crate. Really not too concerned about someone stealing this crate and knowing whose it is. I don't know who would wanna take a, a crate like this. I just want everyone in the woods to know that I'm here and I'm ready to dangle. A little runny. Okay, y'all, here we have it. The LFG truck crate box. This is exactly why I made this thing, so I can throw stuff like sleeping bags, camping gear, uh, fishing tackle stuff. All in this, I'm probably gonna make a few more of these just to have around the house and keep them in the truck to have different stuff in. I might even use this one for firewood because it's so big. Uh, but I could also divide this up. I could put dividers in there and put all sorts of tackle trays. Just kind of customize it the way I want it because uh, I'm constantly having to pick up stuff out of the back of the truck that's sliding around. Just it hits the back of the truck when I'm stomping on the brakes or some how still a sword back here things like that keep it from sliding around and this thing is freaking tough <laughs> so i thought this was a creative way to use some pallet wood guys i don't have a specific plan but hopefully you kind of get the idea of how how to put these together um, and if you have a nail gun, it's super quick and easy. And that is all I have for you today. Now, you know we're going to be taking these crates, going out on adventures with the truck, with the new boat, all the camping gear. It's going to be a good fishing, hunting season, y'all. And if any of y'all are curious about my head, my brain, some of you may wonder how sharp it is at times. I'll be heading down to the brain surgeon next week and doing a checkup with them. And if you want to follow along on the Lake Life family channel, I'll leave a link so you can go subscribe over to that channel and follow that adventure as well. Whole nother part of life. Life's crazy. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.